Hi, this is a, another tutorial in the case study series that we're doing. So just to remind you, we're making this turbobacktrainer.com website. And over the last series of videos, we've been building a site up again from scratch. And this is the current position we're in. So it's getting there, but it's still got a fair way to go. And so today we're just going to do something really quickly. We're just going to add this text into the header region. And this is something that will only take a couple of minutes to do. So just to remind you, we're using the Genesis framework here with, with the WordPress website, and we're using the theme Metro Pro from Genesis. So that's what we're using to create this. And I say this because this particular theme has certain widget areas associated with it, and it's into one of these widget areas we're going to put this text. So I've just gone into the dashboard of the WordPress site. I'll go Appearance and Widgets. And you see we've got all these widgets and we haven't used any of them yet but what we're going to use is this right header widget here and that is actually what shows at the top so I'm just going to drag a text box in there so if you haven't used widgets before then you just get all of these different widgets here and you've got these widget areas and you can just drag them in so it's going to drag a text area into here and then we'll just write the words that we want and it can be anything you want but this one says don't let the weather stop you use your road bike indoors which is basically what a turbo trainer does so we'll just write that in don't let the weather stop you full stop then on a new line we'll put okay so that's it put the word row there too so you have to save it and if we go ahead and look at the home page again there it is it's in there in the right area and the only thing we need to do now is format it because it's different to that actually the first thing you'll know these aren't separate lines even though I put them on separate lines so I'm gonna right click and open up the dashboard in a new window and we go appearance widget expand this text area and you'll see at the bottom here it's a checkbox for automatically add paragraphs I'm just going to check that and save it and now when I refresh these should go two lines which it has but the formatting is still off and that's because we need to do a little bit of styling to make it look like this which need a bit the font needs to be bigger and it needs to be in italics and also we may or may not need to do the positioning but we'll see so this is just like in any other HTML area, you can put some code in here. So we're going to create a div around these words and then we're going to go into the CSS styling and format them in a minute. So I'll just put div ID equals and we'll give it a name. So tagline area, that'll do. And then you just need to put the closing div here. So I'll save this. If I go here, nothing will change because we haven't done any formatting yet. But I'm just going to copy this name here, Control C. Now we can go into the editor. And this is a CSS ed editor, so we'll just go right down to the bottom. And we haven't done any styling before, so all the styling here is the default styling with the, with this child theme. But we create our own here. So you put the hash and then the name of this div. And I put open and closed curly brackets just so we're ready to put some text. And also what I'm going to do is just looking for some code. Just copy this comment text here. So this this is, doesn't actually get used, but it's just a little comment area just so you know what we've done. And I'll just say... put that in there custom formatting of header text widgets just so if I come back later I know what I've done here okay so now we're ready to style it so we want to make the font bigger and I know because I've done this in the live site we want a font size of 30 pixels so I'll just put font size 30 oops font size 30 pixels like that 
and we know we want them to be italic so we'll just go font style italic so let's update this and then hopefully when I refresh the home page it'll change these words which it has and we're pretty similar there the color is a dark gray on the live site and it's black on this example set that we're doing so we'll just change the color now so we just need to simply write color and then I know this as four eight four eight four eight and this is a dark gray so I'll save that and there it is so there you go just a straightforward tutorial there just adding the next part of this website and if you want to get the rest of these turbo training videos head over to www.neilcurtis.me where you'll see them all also make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel so you never miss out on any new videos so hope to see you soon